The Dreamcast was great for arcade games, but was it any good for 18 Wheeler? Let's have a little look. Simple arcade games are fun, especially racing games, but when you trade in your sports car for an articulated truck, then things get a bit interesting. You play as a driver that needs to deliver goods from one place to another in the fastest time possible, and this means breaking the rules of the road. There are four drivers to choose from. There's Asphalt Cowboy, Highway Cat, Longhorn and Streamline. Each vehicle has different power and speed, and typically you'd go for the medium balance one. The controls are pretty simple, accelerate, brake and gears. As you slowly make your way through the course, you'll see your rival in front of you. Your objective is to beat them to the finish line, but they will do whatever it takes to keep you behind. Hitting cars and other vehicles will slow you down, but you can slipstream behind large vehicles to increase your speed. In some areas, you'll see a vehicle that will award you an extra 3 seconds if you hit them. There are checkpoints along the way and the main course isn't that long, but it takes forever to get there. But is this game any good? I played this in arcades and loved it. I bought the game when it came out and I loved it then. But now, not so much. My memories of this game are far from what I experienced this time. I've come to realise that this is damn near impossible to win. I accept it wasn't too good to begin with, but when I started to play without hitting anything and grabbing any time bonuses, I was still struggling to win the race. So I had to choose a vehicle that had better acceleration or top speed and the result was exactly the same. Then I lowered the difficulty to very easy and that made no difference whatsoever. The idea of this game is great. Although you can't go that fast, you can plough through everything in your way. And if you win a race, then it's a satisfying relief. The graphics are okay for the time and the internal view is well done, although hard to see where you're going sometimes. The guy shouting over the CB radio can become annoying, but he's not on there all through the race. After each race is a mini game where you need to park your truck in the bay whilst avoiding boxes and anything else on the roadside. You'll be awarded with different upgrades for your vehicles after this. Controlling the truck is fine, considering you're going that slow there's not much that you need to react to in a hurry, but there are quite a few cons to this game. Each race is a painful task to reach the checkpoint with any time left and you're constantly trying to find anything or any way to get to the end before the time runs out. The differences between the vehicles are barely noticeable, which makes choosing a faster vehicle pointless. There are other modes of play such as parking, score attack and versus. Parking is just parking, and that can get ridiculous. Score attack is just you doing laps with the time limit, as well as bonus points and penalties. The difficulty is arcade standard, and it doesn't want you to win. Home courts should be more forgiving than this, but this game doesn't care. Setting it to very easy should make this game a walkthrough, but the challenge was still far too difficult. And although I like this game, and I still enjoy a quick blast on it, it doesn't mean that this is a really good game. Because of its unforgivable difficulty, and core vehicle variety, it scores an average 55%. It's still a good arcade port, but not for the casual player. Thanks for watching. If for some strange reason you like my videos, please consider subscribing so I don't feel so unpopular. Do you know what I mean? <laughs>